say you should stay indoors as much as possible to avoid the smoke as even healthy people may experience symptoms. Our Seth Kaplan is checking in with doctors to see how the conditions are affecting people in the mid state. He is live in Hershey with that. Good afternoon, Seth. James, we are inside the pulmonary function research lab at Penn State Health, Milton Hershey Medical Center. Uh, they, this is equipment that they use to do testing of lung function. I mean, this stuff is up here all the time, but as you might imagine, getting a lot more attention today than it usually does. Ask one of the doctors if she ever imagined when she woke up for work Monday morning that later this week she would have multiple news crews right now inside the office. She said, no, absolutely not. And so the question is, what's new today, even since uh, the the uh, the particulate matter situation sort of started evolving in the past couple of days. I don't know about you, but I walked outside today and I said, okay, something's different. I'm not somebody who usually suffers particularly from any issues, but I have a four block walk to work normally. I said, I think I should drive today. And so I asked them about that. What about masks? What about uh, things that people who do suffer on a regular basis, who already have asthma, who already have allergies, what should they all do? And some of the, those are some of the answers that we're working on. And, and just to kind of quickly go through uh, what, what we're hearing, you know, during the, co during the COVID pandemic, we got used to, you know, stay outside, right? Stay apart from each other. This is the opposite, right? Kind of reverse all of that. Stay inside, as we know, especially if you have issues. And in terms of what masks specifically might be able to help us, it's the same ones. Those N95 masks that we use to protect ourselves and, and especially other people during the pandemic. Guess what? If you're outside, those can filter out the, the, the what are called PM 2.5. It's particulate matter that's of a certain size that if it gets into your lungs, it can cause problems. Those masks uh, can indeed filter that out. So we're saying for not a bad idea for anybody, but especially people with, with certain issues. And what are the doctors who were telling me also, if, if you have asthma, if you're seeing somebody who helps you with lung issues, you probably already have a plan for what to do when things get bad for whatever reason. Well, guess what? Things have gotten bad here for now a very, very specific reason for a lot of people. And so you would just want to follow that plan. Whatever you're supposed to do, whatever your doctor has told you to do in those situations, do it. Folks with allergies, that's about, you know, what about allergy medications? And yeah, they can all help in the same way that they usually help though. Again, so you're just gonna sort of ramp up whatever it is that you usually do. Obviously, you wanna talk with your own doctor. Those are very general pieces of advice from folks who know. Something we're gonna continue following all day as we ask, you know, what can people do to keep themselves safe? We're asking also, what about the emergency room? Are they now seeing an uptick in visits from people? Are they getting more calls? This hour yesterday, the answer was basically no. So we're gonna have that for you coming up tonight, beginning at five right now, live in Hershey, Seth Kaplan, ABC 27 News. All right, Seth, thank you very much for that live report. We're gonna bring in Sonica Bargo now. She's also taking a look at what this all means for us in the mid-state, including our pets. She's live in Soterra Township, Dauphin County with more on that part of the story. Good afternoon, Sonica. Good afternoon, James. We're talking about pets. You know, that air quality is bad for us. It's also bad for our pets. And the biggest advice from veterinarians is to keep your pets indoors as much as possible with the window shut. Now, I spoke to the Humane Society, and they say that especially animals with cardiovascular or respiratory issues are particularly at risk. And they said, keep your animals indoors. If you need to let them out, just do it for short bathroom breaks for dogs and cats and avoid, you know, long walks or a lot of exercise outdoors. Experts also say birds are particularly vulnerable to smoke and they should stay inside at all costs. The Humane Society also told me while this isn't a concern in this particular case, this issue is a good reminder to make sure you have a pet evacuation plan in place. When we come into situations like this, it's a good time to check to see that you have a pet evacuation plan in place and a, and a kit. And really all that means is if something were to happen, are you ready to take your pets with you? Do you have food, water, um, their medicine, their favorite toys, their carriers ready to go with you? It's also just a good reminder to just keep an eye on your pets and watch for any symptoms like difficulty breathing or coughing. And if you see those symptoms persist, make sure you do call your veterinarian. For now, live in Dauphin County, Sonica Bargo, ABC 27 News. And Sonica, I'm just curious about the air quality where you are right now. Can you just describe a little bit what you're feeling outside? 
It's a little bit hazy off in the distance, James, but honestly, right now it's not too bad. You know, we can't smell any smoke or, or see any of the, the really bad smoke we've been seeing over the last couple of days. However, here at the Humane Society, they are offering N95 masks to any of their staff who do want to use it just as a precaution. Very good. Sonica Bargo live for us there in Dauphin County. Thank you so much for that.